What about those of us who will go crazy if it's found, but we never know well, where it was those, at? A lot of those searchers are already crazy. Is Forrest here in the pepper room with us tonight? So uh, I decided I knew where I was going to hide the treasure chest. And I told myself <coughs> with my last gasping breath, I was going to go out there and fling myself on top of that treasure chest and let, let my bones go back to, to the dirt. If the chest is found, but the person wants to remain anonymous, will you reveal to everyone else, to the public, where the treasure was hidden? Uh, I'd have to think about that. I don't know whether I would or not. Certainly, uh, it, I would be influenced by the person who found the treasure if he wanted to remain anonymous. So, well, of course, he can do. He doesn't even have to tell me who he is. He can do that without me. But, but if he wants uh, the location to remain anonymous, then then I would probably honor that also. Well, what? So, so, yes. But I don't. I don't feel an obligation to to reveal everything about that treasure. Okay. I mean, uh, Anybody that goes into the mountains looking for that treasure chest is going to find all kinds of rewards outside of the, the chest itself. Do you My friends Tom and Carita and I spent two nights at the haunted St. James Hotel in Cimarron, New Mexico. Carita has a gift to use dowsing rods to talk to the spirits. Carita started outside room 18, which is T.J. Wright's room. He's such an angry spirit that they keep the door padlocked and don't allow anyone inside. Is it okay if I knock on your door, TJ, just for the heck of it? That's a yes. From there, we moved across the hallway to the poker room, which is open for anyone to go in and play until quiet hours begin at 10 o'clock. Is TJ here tonight? Oh, God, I hope not. Oh, no. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah. Does it mean he's here in the hotel? Oh, my gosh. TJ's here in the room. TJ said yes, he's here. We're here in Cimarron. Is Forrest here to pick a room with us tonight? No. Nope. Well, that was a nice, neat little no. Forrest is not here. Do you guys even know who Forrest Ben is? Wait, Phillips would know. That's a yes. Half a yes. Eventually, we returned to our room, which was the Wait Phillips room. Okay, we're here in the Wait Phillips room. Your old buddy. And we wonder, Forrest, if you're here with us tonight. That's a big yes. <laughs> okay, Forrest, would you be interested? Look, he's looking your way. Forrest, pay attention. Go. Okay. Line up. Line guys. up. Come on. I asked Forrest if the treasure had been hidden in Yellowstone National Park. He replied, yes. I talked about these doodles a couple weeks ago on Amy's show. The first one was in the book that Forrest gave me on July 24th, the day after he announced it was found in Wyoming. He asked what I wanted in the book. I asked for his signature, the date, and a doodle with a hint whether or not I was ever close to the treasure chest. When I got back to my room, I looked the doodle over, and there in my back pocket, Forrest had drawn a little treasure chest. What does it mean? My interpretation was I had been close to the treasure chest when I searched Yellowstone National Park in 2018. Forrest drew this doodle in my Artie book in December of 2019. He explained that I was jumping over water. When I got home, I noticed there's an Indian looking down at his, at his feet as he runs across what appears to be water. Is this Nez Perce Ford just north of Fishing Bridge? So if you're still watching this video, then you probably are assuming that everything else I say in the future or that I have ever said 
is absolutely uh, not credible if you've watched me believe that the dousing rods at the St. James Hotel that uh, forced spirit actually uh, made the rods move. So anyway, one thing I did want to show you was this shoe box of stuff that Forrest gave me a couple years ago. So this box contains the original um, first copy of the revised o OUAW and his original book with the changes that he wanted made in the next edition. And what I wanted to do was use my confirmation bias regarding Fishing Bridge and Inez Purse and Yellowstone in this book and, um, and, and show you what I've found. Along with the book, he also gave me an envelope with some of the stick figures. And I used to play with them like they are paper dolls. Uh, this is one that I don't think ever made a book. One thing I wanted to point out in both the original OUAW as well as the revised edition, Forrest had changed the title from Scrapbook 181 from Doug Hyde in Full Flourish to Doug Hyde in Stone. And I always wondered if that was just a hint that, um, that he had hidden the treasure in Yellowstone. In both copies of the book, both the original and the revised, Forrest does write, Doug Hyde is mostly Nez Perce. And there again, I'm definitely using confirmation bias. And the only change that he wanted made between the original book and the revised edition was he wanted Joe's name uh, spelled out using his whole name. And I do not find any significance between the original and this revised why uh, that would why that would be a clue or a hint. I also mentioned on Amy's show that when I visited Forrest at his home on August 28th of this year, he told me that the finder returned the chest to him. Then he gave it back to the finder. Does this indicate that it was hidden in Yellowstone National Park? What information about the Heidi spot can we glean from Forrest's comments and the finder's story? We know it was lush vegetation in the forest. The finder referred to the place as that section of forest, as well as downed trees. The finder referred to the towering pine trees, but also sunshine in his face. This matches forest telling the Aussie interview that the location is in the sun, but the treasure chest itself is not. At the lore screening in Santa Fe in 2017, Forrest even talks about what if weeds blew in there, in the nook. There's all kinds of definitions, and, and uh, quite frankly, it's very confusing. <laughs> so so I, I don't want to answer the question whether the treasure chest is buried or not. For, let me give you an example. If I lay the treasure chest on top of the ground, and some weeds grew in there and covered it up. Now, is it buried or is, is it is it sepulchre? Is, is it entombed? So uh, it's best not to go there, I think. The, the, the clues will lead you to the treasure and whether it's buried or not, you can find it if you can, if you can find the blaze as a result of starting with the first clue. That's what you have to do. Horace said he left it on the ground and walked away. In this book, he wrote, keep your eyes on the ground. What we know, a section of forest with tall pine trees, lush vegetation, probably down trees. The nook is 12 inches by 12 inches. The, the nook is most likely on the ground covered by something or under deadfall, but not buried in the sense you need a shovel. The nook is most likely beneath a tall pine tree. There is grass near the area where the chest was photographed and maybe weeds. I leave for Yellowstone soon. One more boots on the ground.